Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor Randomness here. Just a quick one today as part of my Time to Reminisce series as I cosmetically repair a Nintendo Wii just in time to play on Christmas Day. I managed to dig out an old Nintendo Wii from the loft and to be honest it didn't look too nice so I decided to restore it back to its former glory as much as I could so that it can play a game of Mario Kart on Christmas Day. Can you believe this console is now 14 years old, successor to the GameCube to sit alongside the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 but to offer gameplay geared towards being more family friendly and fun rather than relying on the graphical performance that you'd expect from PlayStation and Xboxes. With all the hype and comments about prices of the next gen consoles like the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. The Nintendo Wii was available for just under £180 in the UK and to date makes it the 6th best selling console of all time. What I like most about the console isn't so much the console itself but its handheld accessories. The Wii Remote with its ability to allow you to gesture and point on screen without using the traditional controller but by motion sensing thanks to the Wii Remote's onboard accelerometer and optical sensor technology. In addition to this, you are able to attach a nunchuck, which added a few more controls that made it similar to a more familiar controller, a Wii wheel that gives so much more of a fun experience when playing driving games like Mario Kart, and the Motion Plus sensor, which attached to the bottom of the Wii Remote, providing additional sensors, making the Wii Remote more responsive to slight changes in the user's movement and motion. To me, the Wii Remote was that revolution starter. It allowed users to interact and play games like they never had been able to do before on a console. It's effectively started this generational change that even the next generation consoles had to address on their own controllers. And you can see its influence that it even had on the PlayStation Move controller, which debuted three years after the release of the Wii. onto the Wii Balance Board. Brought into the Wii family a year after the Wii launched, it essentially brought fun into getting active at home, combining games with exercises for all of the family. Essentially a Bluetooth electronic scales that doubled up as a pressure sensitive controller. The Wii Balance Board was another one of those ingenious additions to the Wii ecosystem that made it such an inspiring console and to this day, make people like me want to keep taking it out of the loft, plugging it in and start playing all over again. So as you can see I did a pretty decent job of cleaning the Wii and now I can enjoy some playtime. Let me know of your experiences of the Wii and if you still play it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!